Hello and welcome. So this lab is going to be about installing Microsoft Office 2016 for our second run of Office. So through this Microsoft Office 2016, we will be configuring Outlook for our Sacramento office. So if you can see that in here, I'm logged in as a, as Jeff Green and Jeff Green was the user mailbox that we created in our previous labs in our Sacramento office exchange servers. So if you come in here in your exchange server, so this is the database for Jeff Green. If you can see that mailbox, which is uh, 42, uh, 42973, and this is for Sacramento office. And if you go to recipients, Jeff Green is created on um, one of these mailbox databases. So this is the, the mailbox database, which is in Sacramento office. Just wanted to show you to make you sure that this uh, user, Jeff Green, is in our Sacramento office. So let's get started. I have already the DVD inserted and now I'm going to uh, just start the installation. Simply click on install, right click install. It's gonna ask you for privilege because Jeff Green is a standard user or simple user. He don't have much privilege to install uh, the uh, Microsoft Office or any other operating system. So I will just simply type ilmjotech.local slash administrator. So administrator got privilege to install all these uh, type of applications and now we can proceed all right so this is going to be the user agreement and we can accept this install now or uh, you can click on customize if you only want to install uh, the outlook so i'm going to install everything in here because when you're working in an office or in a production environment you uh, you just don't need the outlook you need everything like you need microsoft uh word uh, excel access or any other thing so we will be doing a complete installation for microsoft office uh, professional 2016 and i'll just do a demo for custom uh, in our new york uh, outlook configuration so that you can see that if you only want to install outlook how can you do that so let's wait for this and see um, how much time it's going to take all right so thank you for installing and the installation is done i'll click on close and once you're done what you can do now is you can do the outlook configuration one thing that i want to mention in here is that always make sure that you have the user mailbox created or your user is mail enabled in order to uh, configure your outlook and use exchange server so if you don't have the user created in exchange and you only have it created in outlook uh, in sorry in active directory it's not gonna work so make sure your user is mail enabled to use outlook so i'll type in here outlook 2016 it's gonna come up and then i'll press next uh do you want to set up outlook to connect to an email account yes if you see that uh exchange server is really good because outlook auto detected it but through auto discover feature and you have your email address already listed in here because this email already exists so what what happened in here is when you said that auto connect it just went to the connect it just tried to connect to active directory and then it tried to search that if that the uh, jeff green have got an account with exchange server and then exchange server replied back that yeah you got an account with, uh, with me so i'm going to give you the information and you are allowed to connect to me that's why the auto discover feature just uh showed up and you you got the email address listed in here sometimes you have to click on mail manual setup and when do you use manual setup whenever you want to use like pop or imap or any other uh any other uh email systems wherein you're not using exchange because exchange is doing the auto discovery but, and uh, and when it does the auto discovery when your computer is joined to the domain and you're logged in as a domain user but if you are not logged in as a domain user you will then have to do all these configurations manually just keep in mind so next 
and I'll accept the security certification here uh, which is from uh, Microsoft Exchange server so most 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 of the time it is uh, like not trusted that's why it is going to give you the uh, issues like that let me see what the error says uh, the security certificate was issued by a company I have not chosen to trust I'm sure that angiotech.local is not trusted because it is one of the companies which is not registered which is not uh, listed on a on a white list or or on a trusted list of certificates that Microsoft have got so I'll say proceed yes so certificates are always something that you have to keep in mind so uh, when you configure certificates your certificate should be whitelisted it should be like uh, added to Microsoft certificate database so when it is added to Microsoft certificate database it is not going to show you that error right now it is giving me that error because angiotech.local is using a certificate and that certificate is not trusted so for internal use it is okay but whenever you are connecting your exchange server into public and others are configuring their email accounts using your domain controller or using your exchange server make sure that it is always trusted on public it is very important so ask me later for uh, installing updates so now you can see that it says that connected to microsoft exchange so our sacramento office outlook is now ready to use now what we will do is we will just configure the operating system for our new york office and then we will configure outlook for our new york office and then we will send and receive emails and see how it works so i hope this was informative for you and i'll see you in next lecture